What's up, guys? We are back here at Phantom Chaser, the free-to-play iOS game that is uh, fairly cool. I actually enjoy this game. So let's talk about inventory management and what you should do here. Uh, it does cost one of these gems to increase your inventory by five slots, but you don't necessarily really need to do that. Um, you can delete slash sell all these guys. So I do recommend getting it up maybe to like 100 or so so it doesn't become so tedious to come in here and delete and sell. But you do want to only sell certain creatures. So how I have it filtered, I filter it by name. So you click up here on the top right. So you click up here on the name where it has name and it's going to show you different filters. So click on name. And this puts all of the same characters together. You only want to sell these little grunt guys that are like one star characters so they'll be level 1 level 20 level 40 and you'll have a lot of them so you can see we have a lot of them you never want to sell any character that is unique that you have one of or even two of potentially so a character like this the Duke Kukulin thingy he's actually like a unique character that you get from story quest rewards and also in, via farming and other missions he's not a common character you would have to summon him potentially to get him so keep him delete these garbage characters that you have lots of you're going to get these by just simply farming the missions you'll figure out which characters you'll get lots of by sorting it by the name style here you can see we have tons of these golems we only got two of these high goblins so we're going to keep those even though they kind of look weakish we've got a lot of these lanterns so we're going to go ahead and delete the lanterns and the reason here is if you get a ton of them that means they're completely common creatures so like this thing right here the sam doll Oops, we accidentally clicked. And make sure that you don't accidentally click on anything because there is no way to lock or save your characters. And they say there's no way to restore them too if you delete them. So the Sam doll thing, it looks pretty weak, but it's a unique-ish character. It's not something that you get a ton of, so we're not going to delete that character. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This is a very good tip for you guys. Make sure that you sell the characters. You get some gold out of this. So you see we're making 7,400 gold. And it says right there they cannot be recovered. So make sure that you don't uh, fat finger and push uh, a character you're actually using. Thankfully, you cannot delete characters that are active on your squad. So you might want to go ahead and throw all your you know, good characters into different parties. And you have multiple different party setups. So if you click on characters, you can go to manage team and you have about like 10 different teams. So you click on where it says arena team right there and you can see there's team one to seven. There's arena team and river of fire team. So you get to customize and put all the characters that you want in each of those teams. So you see we haven't had anything in team four, so we can go ahead and put characters there and that will actually save them and you won't be able to, to sell them accidentally. So that's probably a really good tip there. Thanks for watching guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the holidays. I will talk to you guys later.